So welcome to the Water Cube. Please tell me your name. Where are you from? Uh, my name is Ron Sawyer from Mexico. I'm part of the Freshwater Action Network uh, chapter from, from Mexico. And you are? My name is Murali. I am from uh, a grassroots organization in South India, which is Modern Architects for Rural India. I am also convener for uh, South Asia Regional Network, which is called Freshwater Action Network South Asia, FANSA. I am convener of FANSA. So what have you been doing here during this week? Oh, I have come here representing the work of uh, Freshwater Action Network South Asia, which is a network of 250 grassroots organizations working on water and sanitation issues. I am also personally involved in the rural areas of South India where I am addressing water and livelihood issues of the people for the past 15 years. We have done a lot of work uh, in terms of uh, restoring traditional water storage structures to improve the water availability in rural and tribal areas. And we have also implemented on a large scale watershed development programs to improve the groundwater table and to improve water availability for the drinking water purpose and other livelihood needs of the people. So here I have represented, represented my grassroots experience and uh, I had the opportunity of participating in few sessions basically talking about how important it is to focus on uh, water sector in the whole debate on uh, climate change adaptation. There's a, there's a need for prioritizing water sector in uh, climate change adaptation uh, measures. That's what I have been talking about in different sessions. And uh, I also had an opportunity to participate in the session which is uh, focusing on global frame for, framework for action to achieve the Millennium Development Goals related to water and sanitation. It has been quite exciting opportunity for me. I had the great opportunity of uh, coming to a global event on water to share my experiences and also learn from other experiences and of course opportunity to come to this beautiful city of Stockholm. Thank you. So what do you have to say? What's been the most important during this week? Well, there's been a number of things. As, as the director of uh, a group that's called Sarar Tr Transformation, where we work on the promotion of sustainable sanitation approaches in Mexico and Latin America, there's been an opportunity to sort of connect with the different people that are, are working in that area of productive sanitation. And, uh, and the whole question of, of water and sanitation as, as a human right which is, is something that is very closely sort of linked to the whole question of climate uh, change adaptation. It's part of the whole uh, group of uh, issues that need to be dealt with in terms of improving livelihoods, in terms of water, food production, uh, available kind of uh, safe sanitation, hygiene. So that's been important. Another, another part of this visit that I've really uh, found very valuable is to be able to connect with the other people from the Freshwater Action Network. Uh, Murali, for example, woman from, from Africa, knew uh, to be able to exchange experiences and be able to, to be inspired by their work and their vision. Um, the, the, one of the lessons that I think has come through to me is that the, the World Water Forum that said uh, uh, think globally, act locally has another side of it, which is uh, think locally and act globally and what sometimes missing in this and I think the Freshwater Action Network brings to the agenda is really getting people to um, think locally, to really understand how local people, people really are, are affected and need to be the, the basic energy for the change. Thank you. Thank you.